Hello, and welcome to Strength from Tarot. I'm Jackie, and today I'm going to be sharing my top five tarot decks I've used during COVID-19. So let's get into it. So this is by no means in any order. A few of these decks, I actually, all of these decks, but one I purchased during the pandemic. And so of course they were used more often because I love to rotate out my different decks and obviously the new ones get a lot of play when I first bring them in. So these are the five decks that I used the most during COVID-19 so far. So here we go. So the Darkness of Light Tarot, this is the third edition as is. And this deck I bought during the middle of the, or actually no, during the beginning. Of the pandemic. And I found that these cards were really straight to the point, but also very gentle at the same time and delivered the messages in a very neutral kind of way that made me do a lot of self-reflection, but painless. So I really enjoyed working with this tarot deck and that is why I used it quite often. So that is the darkness of light. Next is the tarot of the she. And this deck was another one that I purchased and I had fun with the deck mod on this. I actually trimmed the side borders and edged in black and purple. So this deck was also um, Quite a surprise for me because it was a deck that really called to me during the beginning of the pandemic and I really wanted this unknown kind of fae energy to help me through the initial surge of anxiety that I felt and this deck was amazing to work with for that reason. It was grounding, yet also very spiritual feeling. So I felt like it was a really well-rounded deck. And though not as gentle as the Darkness of Light, the readings were still really easy to swallow. So that's the Tarot of the Sheep. Next was the Hoodoo Tarot, and this deck I purchased based on the guidebook by Tiana Lee McQuiller. It is so juicy, but I've shown this a bunch of times, so I'm just going to get right into the cards. And I found that these cards were perfect, especially with connecting during the Black Lives Matter movement, right after George Floyd's murder, it really jump-started my own deep dive into where I wasn't acknowledging my white privilege and how I was holding on to miss beliefs without even knowing it. It was a lot of eye-opening for me and it's taken me on this amazing journey of self-discovery and finding where my true passion comes from in standing and aligning with being part of the change, you know, and doing what I can with 
talking to my family and becoming active in my community. And when I see or hear any racism, taking a stand against it and being aware, just knowing that this has been going on, that this systemic racism is a part of our country as well as a part of the world and how disturbing and disgusting that it is, we have to look at it and we have to look within ourselves and we have to change. So the stack really was helpful for connecting with that. And it was an integral deck that I've been working with. So that is the Hoodoo Tarot. Next is the Mysteries of Mary Tarot by Hetzi and Grobler. And this deck is my number one hug deck. So of course, in facing all of those issues that I mentioned earlier and unpacking a lot of shit, I really needed to also make sure to take care of myself and nurture myself. And this deck is the one that I turn to for that. Because this deck I have such a connection with. It is such a beautiful spiritual deck for me and one that I really love to use to connect in particular with my grandmother and other family members who I loved and who passed. And it's just a really deep deck for me. And especially with between the COVID, facing my inner shadows and going into one of my darkest depressions yet, this deck really helped me because it's a lot of stress and pressure that we're all facing and we don't know when the end is gonna come for the virus. So that is my hug deck. This is my treasure, the Mysteries of Mary Tarot. And finally, Dust to Onyx by Courtney Alexander. Now this deck was on my wish list and on my allowed to buy at some point this year. So I was really happy when I was able to get the funds aside and get this beautiful deck. And oof, wow, the synchronicities. The synchronicities that I get when reading from this deck, as far as I will get a card and then it'll be referenced in either pop culture or in my Instagram feed or, you know, hear a song, but it just, whatever message I get for that day, I hear it later on in some way. So it's a really, really cool deck. And like the Hoodoo Tarot, these two decks are my fully melanated tarot decks and I'm only kicking myself for not having gotten them sooner. So they are incredibly beautiful. And there's so much depth and strength in these cards. They feel just as spiritual as the Mysteries of Mary tarot deck. And I really love working with them. And they're a good reminder to keep doing the work, keep unpacking, all that bullshit, keep fighting, 
and keep moving forward. So that was Dust to Onyx and my final deck that I'm sharing today. So I want to thank you all for watching. If you've made it through this far, I hope you all are staying safe and sane, taking care of yourselves so that you can take care of your loved ones. And I will catch you all in the next one. Take care.